what is going on guys it's your boy dpj back with another q a video now the comments questions put forth to me on this video were from you guys from the video description on my last q a video if you missed my last two q a videos i will link them in the video description if you guys have a question for my next q a video be sure to leave it in the comment section also press that like button it really does help out i love doing these q a's it lets you guys get to know me a lot better which in my opinion is a good thing but let's just get straight into this first question is from ben solman what is your best class for tdm now i don't really play team deathmatch on call of duty ghosts but i have made a few badass classes which i think you would rock with and rule with and own with on tdm i will link them class setups i'll link the actual playlist in the video description so check it out i'm sure one of them classes you would absolutely own on tdm with probably use the the fat gun 5000 class i think you'd probably kill people with that i've got a few more class setup videos coming as well so stay tuned for those next question is from easy dude 16 when you were a kid was it your dream to be a youtuber Dude, when I was a kid, YouTube didn't even exist. Google didn't even exist. I mean, I don't even remember the internet, to be honest. I am 27 years old, so when I was a kid, my dream was to be something like a footballer, actor, doctor. Same old shit every kid dreams to be. YouTube just come up um, at a certain time in my life where I was playing Black Ops 1. Loved to do emblems and just thought, yeah, I'm just going to try YouTube. And it, and it became successful, which I'm grateful for. Next question is from Dominic Kino Josa. Not sure if that's how you say your second name. Sorry, dude. What is your favourite gun in all the Call of Duties? My favourite gun in the whole of the COD series is the Spaz 12 shotgun from Modern Warfare 2. Absolutely loved this gun. Powerful. Had stupid range. Plenty of bullets. Just ridiculous. Just so, so badass. Love that shotgun. Missed it. Hasn't been a shotgun since either. But that is definitely my favourite gun. Next question is from Macy Gelito. Also, dude, I'm not sure if that's how you say your name and I apologise. What has been your best moment in any Call of Duty game? Well, my actual best moment in any Call of Duty game was a 360 bank shot game winning kill camp I got on Summit on Black Ops 1. I'll actually show you guys the clip on screen now. The thing is about this is actually meant it. I actually, as you'll see when I slow it down, I 360'd. I actually locked onto the dude. I could have just tomahawked him then, but I thought, no, that's too easy. So I spanned to the left, banked off the wall and got the kill. After this actual game, I screamed like a flipping five-year-old baby, man. I was absolutely screaming. Couldn't believe I actually hit it, although I meant it. When you mean something to do it and actually hit it, it's a different story. But, yep, this is definitely my best moment in any Call of Duty game. It's probably the click, the moment that actually started me off doing more bank shots and throwing knife montages and shit like that. But definitely the best moment in any Call of Duty game for me. Next question is from... Ben Martin and now this is some fruity ass question I might actually name the video after this some fucked up shit would you rather kiss Susan Boyle's ass or suck off easy now 1337 <laughs> oh damn I'd have to go with easy now I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry no 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 let me get that right I'd have to go with Susan Boyle's ass there's no way I'm going anywhere near easy now's cock no chance whatsoever as bad as Susan Boyle's ass may be, it can't be as bad as Ethan Al's top, so fuck that. I'm kissing Susan Boyle's ass without a doubt. Next question is from Brandon Bobcock. That is an epic name. What's your favourite thing to do? Now, my actual favourite thing to do is play football and draw. I absolutely love to draw. Now, a lot of you guys won't know this, but a long time ago, I used to do speed art drawing giveaways where I draw and give the drawing to one of my subscribers. Now, if you guys want to see more of that, let me know down in that comment section. I would love to actually draw and show you guys my drawings and give them to you guys. So, let me know down below. Also, spam that like button if you want to see speed art drawing giveaways as well. Next question is from Kareem Doheim. I think that's how you say your name. When was your first Moab nuke or KEM? My first nuke was on Modern Warfare 2. I got it with a Barrett and Wasteland. I was actually being such a noob. I was sitting at the back of the map with a thermal nuke. I just wanted to get one, so that's what I had to do. And I got one. I actually got one in about two minutes, which is a surprise. But, yep, yeah, that's my first nuke. Next question is from Peter Austin. Do you play card to show off your skills or play to have fun? Actually, dude, I actually play to have fun and show off my skills while playing to have fun. Um, I do not take Call of Duty seriously. If I did, I would end up raging every damn game and probably breaking something. So I just play games for fun. Next question is from Matt Dolan. 
how did you feel quick scoping LEA? To be honest, it's nothing of a big deal to me. The dude's just a normal card player to me, in my opinion. Quick scoping him is just like quick scoping anybody else. The thing is about LEA, I respect him in every single way because what he's got on YouTube is very successful and he's worked hard at it. But because he's got four, three, five, ten million subscribers and he plays card, he's based his channel on card, that doesn't make him the world's best Call of Duty player. So quick scoping him, in my opinion, is just a standard issue. Next question is from Javier Taylor. What motorbike do you have and what CC is it? Now I'll actually show you guys my motorbike now. I will show you a video of me recording it. It's actually a Jalera DNA. It's actually my first motorbike. I do plan to get a bigger and better one. But for the time being I'm just going to use this. It's actually quite quick as well. It gets about 95 miles an hour. It's a 180cc by the way. And it's got my logo on it customised by me. Drawn on it by myself. It looks pretty badass. But yep that is my motorbike. Next question is from Raul Reyes. Have you ever had a girlfriend? And if you did, how did you meet her? Yes, my girlfriend and I have been together for almost nine years now. I actually put a video of her on YouTube playing the Impossible game. And I will link it in the video description if you guys want to check her out. It's actually live face cam, so you'll actually see her. And we met through a friend, shall I say. It's a long story and I won't get into it, but yep. If you want to see that, go check out that video. Next question from Honey Badgers Don't Care Tomahawk or throwing knife? 100% tomahawk. Throwing knives are pretty good, but tomahawks are way forward without a doubt. But that is it, guys. That is the end of my QA video. If you guys have any questions to ask me, leave it down below in that comment section. Also, press that like button, it really does help out. No question is off limits. Ask me what you want to hear me answer. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the gameplay, thanks for watching as always and peace out till next time.